Catherine Decina Zeppelin and welcome to the new studio. Hey, if you're new here, hi. I'm an American, I live in Belgium. I spent 10 years in France and I make videos about cultural differences. I review beer, I review books and I do a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you like that kind of thing, hit that subscribe button. We can be friends or enemies. It, I, I, I'm open to both roles to fill. I know I've been talking about moving for a really long time and can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact I'm in the new house. <laughs> I wasn't sure it was gonna happen, but oh my gosh, we're here. We're in the new studio. Do you like the background? I, I, I'm liking it. It's working, I think. I don't know. We're, we're, it's a test and project, guys. There are drawbacks to the new studio. For example, there is an echo. I'm hoping that it doesn't show up on the video, but as I'm talking, I can hear it. It's like echo, echo, echo. It's weird. I don't know how to fix it yet. I'm gonna work on that, so. Thank you for your patience. Also, there is so much noise in this house. It's so noisy. Going up the stairs, it, it travels and sounds like thunder. You walk upstairs, it's boom, 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 boom. Outside, we have cobblestone on our street, and when the cars go by, it's so loud. Then there are people. I swear, there are so many people here with horses because they walk the horses and it's clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. And then the clock tower. The clock tower goes off every 15 minutes and it's ding, 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 ding. And it's always the same ding. And it's annoying because the clock tower in the town that's closest to us, it actually plays like the clock music and it sounds so pretty. Why can't we get clock music? I'm very, very jealous about this. Oh. And that was my rant. On the bright side, I have this beautiful window here that has all this natural light. Downside right now, it's coming in from this side and it's ridiculously hot. Besides the move, I have some funny little anecdotal stories that I hope will brighten up your day. For example, I was unpacking the studio and I finished all the books and that took forever. Oh my gosh, we have too many books. I can't, okay, no, there, there, there really isn't such a thing as too many books but there were there were so many boxes of books and as i'm going through them i realize i'm missing books so i go on a hunt and i find them except for one and it's the one that i actually do on book dissect they only laugh later which is a short story collection of experiences from expats all around the world and i couldn't understand where this book would have gone and what box it would have gone into because it should have been in my studio back in the old house. And I unpacked all the boxes from the studio in the old house. So I went through all the boxes that still hadn't been unpacked and I didn't find it. And I was convinced it still has to be at the old house, but it wasn't. So finally I complained to Prince Charming and he had the book. It was in this box of wires that I didn't pack and I wouldn't even assume to look in because it was a box of wires. My poor book was so mistreated, but I found my book, which if you follow me on Twitter, I shared a part of the story there because I was freaking out. Second story, which is sort of technical difficulties. I have misplaced the cord that plugs into the camera and goes into the outlet. So I have to keep looking at the little battery icon in the corner. I don't know where this cord is, and I was so meticulous when it came to all the tech stuff, I can't even begin to fathom where I put it. I looked through all the boxes, I even went to the old house and looked, and there's nothing, there's nothing in the old house left, and I don't know where this cord is. I was talking with Prince Charming, and I thought, well, maybe we could just buy a new one, and I was thinking, once I buy a new one, that's when I'm gonna find the old one, except we can't find this cord on Amazon. I, I don't, I, I I don't know where it is. I, I'm, I'm at a loss. I mean, the last time I remember having it is when I made the videos that I pre-recorded for you, for you all to see after we signed the house, but I'm pretty sure I brought it back. I don't know, I'm just, I've been losing stuff a lot. And this story didn't have a happy ending because I haven't found it yet. So hopefully I'll be able to update you soon and say I found the cord. And that can transition into the next story which, oh my gosh. We went grocery shopping at the new grocery store, which I'm sort of up in the air about. I don't like change. And their beer section is just so sad. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to find a proper beer store because there, there was just nothing there. Nothing, oh my gosh, it's just 
one time, no, 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 it was sad. So I went to pay for the groceries and I open up my wallet and the spot where my one credit card's supposed to go, it's not there. And I thought, when's the last time I used it? And I remember getting gas. Crap, I left my credit card in the gas machine. But I, I'm thinking rationally because the machine beeps at you and I can't imagine filling up a whole tank of gas while the machine is going beep 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 beep. So I'm thinking, where could I put the credit card? Where could I put the credit card? But I remembered that I stopped to go get ribs because the rib truck is back. It's been closed since, since the lockdown. I haven't been able to have ribs in forever. And I saw that it was open. I was going the other way and I took a U-turn in a place that I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to do a YouTube, YouTube U-turn, but I did. I got my ribs and I planned to pay with my credit card, but the machine wasn't working and it just so happened I had cash. So I paid in cash and my credit card ended up in the little space where the cash goes, which is not where it belongs. And that, <laughs> has been my life and this is the update video and that's what i have for you guys this week if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down we can be enemies or friends I i'm willing to fill whatever role that you need me to fill and i'll see you guys in the next video tote scenes may apple zines so i know that there were parts in this video where i had to stop because a car was passing and so i'm gonna hope that there's enough footage of that to create a 20 second outro and if not this is gonna be your outro, and so if there's not 20 seconds, there can just be this awkward, awkward silence where I just say random words and we look at each other. <laughs>